Hi, my name is Sarah Janover. I'm the creator of Hypnotize, a revolution in fashion. I'm here because I want to ask you all a question. How many times do you change your outfit before you walk out the door? I'm sure it's quite a few because I know sometimes when I go to put something on I don't like the way it fits or I'm just not in the mood to wear it so I take it off and then I'm done with it. This is the thing about Hypnotize, you're not going to have to do that anymore. I came up with this idea, honestly, by accident last summer when I was packing to go away on a vacation with my family and um, quickly realized from the feedback from people when I was wearing it that I might be onto something. So I want to give you a really clear explanation of what it is, why it's so easy, and why it's really going to change your life. So Hypnotize is basically a tube of fabric and it comes in three lengths. It comes in a short length, it comes in a medium length, and then it comes in a long length. The difference in the lengths is simply how you style it. So, for instance, it doesn't have anything to do with your height or your size because they're all the same dimension. What makes Hypnotize totally unique to other convertible dresses and multi-way clothing out there are the bands that it comes with. And these are amazing and they're clear and they work with the fabric like nice as they don't damage it, but they also don't break. So this is what is the key to making you um, able to style it in any way and it becomes almost like a customized or a couture dress. The other thing that we make sure that you have when you get your hypnotized is what I call the idea card. And this is really just a teaser right now. It's not really to give you instructions. It's basically to show you all the different ways in which you can style it. And again, there's no limit because we come up with, it's been over a year and I can still come up with different ways. So anyhow, so this is your idea card and we're super excited because um, our app is on Android right now and it's being approved right now as we speak for iTunes. So if you have a mobile device, this is super easy. You just have to download it onto your phone, it's free. And on the app, you can see all the different ways to do it, step by step, or you can see some of the videos we've posted. You can even post your own photos. You can see other photos, you can get um, special updates and maybe some great coupon deals. So it's a great thing to have, especially while you're on the go. Anyhow, so I want to just tell you really quickly um, about Hypnotize and why I think that every person in the world can really wear it. So anyhow, this I have on a medium. Medium is definitely the best selling just because it's really able to be um, converted into a top or a skirt or a dress. The short size, just so you know, is great for little girls. Um, I think it's like, you know, I have little four-year-old girls who wear like dresses or long skirts, so that's super cute. And then the long is great for maxi dresses, um, but I've also decided how to, or learned how to um, make it into short dresses. So I'm just going to show you a little bit about this. Obviously, super easy, you can just wear it like a scarf. So anybody can do that, right? That's why I say there's no wrong way to wear it, and it's really a great gift for anyone. But what I like to show is how simple it is by making one simple knot, all the different styles you can make. Now this isn't the, you know, the only way. I mean, I tell people over and over again, whatever way you come up with, because we all stand in front of the closet sometimes and we kind of like futz around with our shirt to get it to fit a certain way. When you want it to fit that way, that's when you take your band and you fasten it to the position you want it so it stays like that. So when you think about I would say when you do your hair, if you put your hair in a ponytail and you put it in and you, tie, you want to tie it tightly, and let's say you have some hair that's falling out, so you may use a bobby pin or a clip or a barrette or maybe a little hairspray to get it to stay, think of hypnotize the same way. So look, I just made one knot and I take, took my two ends and I separated them. So I made like a little bow and now this is like a super cute, just a little shawl like that and it's easy. But I show people, if I shift it over to one side like this, now it gives it a completely different look. It's, a little, it's almost like a poncho, it's a little sexier, and you can just have it like that. And then one day I realized, oh my gosh, I have an armhole. So now look, now I have something that is another unique look, and I've worn it with a belt before. You can shift it over like this if you want. You can do anything. And if you wanted, you could even add another band over here and tie it like that or do whatever you want, leave it hanging, it's super easy. Then of course, then I saw, wow, look what happens when I take my arm out. Now I have a one shoulder dress that I can either keep it loose and hanging, I can add a belt, you can do whatever you want. I mean, you can say, when I say like, if you want to take it in, now this is something important. Some people will take it like this, 
on the right spot, and that's okay, and like literally make a ponytail like this, but I'd like to suggest instead of just grabbing like this and making a ponytail, pretend you're at the alterations lady or man, and you're showing them where you want it to fit to. So you're taking your two ends of extra fabric and holding them and then making your ponytail. Because what you'll see is that when you take the two ends and join them together, that's when you can separate them once they're tied and you have that detail of the bow. So it's really nice. Now we've had some other ladies ask us, how do we do the finishing touches to the bows? So you've got a couple choices here. You can take your ends like this. You can tie the ends just in another easy knot like that and it finishes it off. Or you can even, sometimes I'll wrap it around a couple times and then tie it behind with an extra band. You can do whatever you want. Like if you want to make it a little bit more of a square neck like this, if I want to open now, just use an extra band and tie behind here. That's what you can do. I mean, again, you can change. Once you realize all the different ways you can make it, whether it's a halter or one shoulder or a cardigan or a skirt or anything, you can then, that's when you start to play and you come up with all these different ways. The best way to remove your band is to just pull your fabric away from each other like this and the band will pop off and it comes right back. So watch how I'm just taking it off, just pulling my fabric away. You don't have to worry about untying it and it pops back off. There's my second band, and now we're back to where we started. Another cool thing to do with this, just to show you how to take in your dress sometimes, is if you don't want it really tight like this, because sometimes I don't want to show all, you know, every little part of me, I'll take my, my dress or my top and I'll pinch the fabric. So like I'll pinch it where I want it to fit, but I have all this extra loose fabric here, and then I'll actually just Hold it there, tie an extra band. Again, just tying it tightly and you do it around and around until you really can't pull it anymore because you don't want it to fall off. And then it creates like a nice little drape. You can do this on the inside of a dress and it creates like a little bustle or like a little um, ruching, super cool. So again, I'm just pulling out my band and there it goes, it pops right back out. Now. Notice here, you can make even strapless dresses. You could turn it around and make it strapless and have the back be your tie like this. And this is a place where I'm gonna show you how, if I wanna fold this over, you can do something like this. And I'm gonna make that little dimple. So I'm pinching the fabric now from behind, just a little tiny bit, making a very small knot with my band doing it tightly and you're going to see how cool it is because it makes like a little bit of a ruche like that. Now don't forget you can always take your short hypnotize in a different color the same color if you want to be covered and you can make it slip your arms through it like a vest and you have a little bolero. So this is how you can get two together. You can pull it tightly create a knot. You can have it be like a vest like this. Now watch what I do here. So I'm in my vest and I'm going to open it up. So I'm taking the top piece and the bottom piece, so opposites, bringing it around in the front, adjusting the neck, and now I have a, note, a little vest that you can leave like this. You can add another band, whatever you want. It's totally up to you. That's the cool thing about this. And because it's so unique in that it really works to what your style is and what your body type is, what I may wear it as may not be the way you wear it as, or the way you wear it or style it may not be the way I wear it. But that doesn't mean it's right or wrong, it just means it works to your liking. And then you can take it down by your waist and make skirts. So you're just seeing some little ways of doing the hypnotize. Now I want to show you something else because I'm going to take it and I'm turning it inside out. The reason I'm turning it inside out is I'm going to take my, my medium and I'm going to make it short and you can do the same thing with your long. So here we are inside out and I'm taking the edges of the fabric and I'm joining them together as tight as I want them to fit around my body. Okay, so I'm pinching it here. Watch what happens 
when I take this extra piece of fabric and I join it to the top, pinch the three corners, and I tie it tightly together. Pulling it together. Now, what I do, depending on how I want to style it, I'll take that knot and I'll shift it around to the back so it's in the back because now what I'm going to do, I may either take the bottom edge of my fabric and bring it up and now my medium has become like a short bubble top. So I can either just take it any which way, I can make my halter, just bring my edges together and behind my neck. Now remember, if you want a drapey, drapey halter, take your fingertips further away from each other and let the drape kind of fall. So you see, because if you take the drape, your fingertips too high up, it's gonna be higher up on your neck and you, some people want it that way, some people don't. Totally up to you. You can even create just by playing with it, a high neck and then a low back, okay? So these are just some of the different things that you can do. Make a one shoulder, pinch your fingertips together there, slip your arm through. So now we've created, like I said, a medium into a short. You can do the same thing with a long and make it into a bubble, but you can even take this down, this is the inside out back, the inside out, I'm bringing it down to my waist, and now I'm gonna bring it up and create, let's just do a halter. Tying it behind my neck, grabbing my band, and tying it. You only need to use a little bit of fabric to tie because it'll hold on. You don't need a ton of fabric. If you want the drape to show, don't put it in your knot then. Make sure you're positioning the fabric exactly what you want to show. So now I pulled it down, but I realized the other day, if I took that narrow part of what I tied together and I pull it down like this, now look what happens. I have almost like a bubble top with a fitted skirt. Do you see? You can come up with all of these ideas. Sometimes when I wear it like this, I can even take this extra fabric, pull it, loop it around, tie it with a band, and now I have an asymmetrical neckline. You see, it's just all playing. It's not about creativity, it's just saying, what if I did this? Some of us are a little more creative, definitely, than others. That's okay, but you do what works for you. So that's the story about Hypnotize. Um, we're, of course, we love to hear from all of you, what you have to say, what you think, questions, concerns, but I just wanted to give you that little bit of a tutorial and we're working diligently to take care of all the little things to make sure that it's easy and fun and functional for all of you. So again, thank you so much for continued support of the brand. Um, we're working on a lot of exciting new things coming up, so stay tuned. Take care. Bye-bye.